Good morning guys and welcome to social distancing vlog number two. So it's like 10 a.m. right now. So I was actually working on a leotard. If you guys don't know, I have my own like dance line and I'm trying to make leotards, but I ran out of white thread and I really can't get it anywhere. So I'm really upset. So I had to put that on hold. I really wanted to wear it today, but <laughs> the struggles anyways i have to eat some breakfast i might i kind of have to play some animal Why is this bathroom dirty when we literally just had the fucking bathroom clean all right i'll have daddy get that one mommy that's not you can't even see it get off We're just gonna cut all that out. But anyways, I, as I was saying, I'm going to probably play some Animal Crossing before I go to dance. Because my dance is at like 1, I... Yeah, 1. Um, and it's the last day! I forgot to tell you that. The last day, like... It's so weird. Um, but yeah, I have to check on my um, island. This is my lazy breakfast. I have no motivation to cook. So I ordered white thread. Interesting, right? Um, now I'm gonna go to pick it up now at Joanne's. Anybody else scared to do this curbside pickup thing? Cause I don't know how it works. Okay, well, I'm kinda scared. Okay, bye. So it's like 12.30, which means I have dance in 30 minutes and I'm gonna get ready. And this is really early for me because usually I procrastinate and I wait till like class starts in 10 minutes and then I start to get ready. It's really bad. It's really bad. But I don't know why. I'm just like the whole dancing in my basement and like, I don't know, like class is just like the same kind of like every day. I, it just doesn't give me any motivation. Um, <laughs> but I'm still doing it. Today's the last class, so it's okay. Um, but I just want to work on my leotard guys. I wanted to wear my leotard for class since it's the last day Well, you know, let's just pick out what we're gonna wear. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Should I wear this one this one? You guys always ask me where it's from I'm gonna wear that one I guess. Yeah, I don't really want to wear tights, so I'm not gonna wear tights But this one is from Elevay. Also, I forgot to tell you guys but in my last vlog, I think I was doing like classes on youtube um but now i'm doing classes through google teams with like my dance studio and my teachers and stuff so so that's why it's like my last class today um but it's so weird like our end of the year show was supposed to be mother's day weekend which, because at the like you feel like that year has ended when you like graduate or you finish the school year or like you have your end performance but we had none of that and it just feels like I'm, I feel like empty, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like nothing happened and I feel like I don't, I feel like the year hasn't ended, like the school year hasn't ended and it's it's still going on. Um, Cause there was like no accomplishment at the end and it's really sad, but oh well. So this is me learning the combination. Um, we always do like a little tondu combination before we do plies or anything else. So yeah, this is like a really slow, tondu combination and i actually sped this up so it was actually a lot slower than this also i don't know why my arm looks like the body of a ferret like you know what i mean i think it's my sweatshirt like <laughs> it can't look that bad you know then we've got some stretches going on y'all get into it um stretches at the bar like that they don't really stretch me but then we got a little balance moment going on interesting and i'm done and here is the left side in really fast motion so have fun watching that okay guys watch this part i'm like when are you gonna start the music and a little head roll and then i'm like oh, okay it's starting now <laughs> Um, so I'm guessing this is Degage and a little PK action. My arm still kind of looks like a ferret. Like, why does it look like that? I swear from the front, it doesn't look like that. 
I would not allow my arm to look like that. But, um, guys, it's just angle, okay? Don't make fun of me. Um, but yeah. And then we got a little fast motion going on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so fast, like my legs go. OMG, yay, it's Adagio. I actually like Adagio, but then like at the same time, if my legs look bad, then I absolutely despise it because I don't want to look at myself and my ugly legs. <laughs> but today I feel like was a good day, so. Go, go. Do you have anything to say? My dog is chewing on something that she should not have been chewing on. Do you have anything to say? She's just looking my face right now, so. Do I balance? Do I balance? Do I balance? She balances! Yes. And they turn on the other side. Coco, please stop licking me. Oh, I'm just gonna put a little disclaimer out there. My left side at this angle looks horrible. Now, I don't know why my leg looks like that. Like, why does my hip look like it's so lifted? Like, I swear it's really not. I think it's just the angle. Um... But yeah, don't mind the ugly angle. Um, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so this is center Daggio, which is always a challenge because it's, it's really hard to balance with your legs going up that high and stuff. But, you know, I've been doing it for a while, so I've been getting used to it. And I feel like the key thing to do here, which I always say, is to just pull up because when you're really feeling that opposition, then it's really easy to, like, balance on one leg. Well, it's not easy, but it's easier to balance on one leg than, like, being all loose and wobbly. So, yeah. So this is the left. I always feel like it's so hard to do your worst side after you've already done your better side, like right after. So you're you're kind of tired, but you have to do your bad side. So it's like really, it's like even more difficult. So now I'm doing fondues, and this one's always a challenge too because it's always slow and you have to like balance on your legs, but it's also probably one of my favorites as well, just because it's fun. <laughs> And these attitude turns on they were are really like interesting. Like the first time I did it, I had no idea how to do it. <laughs> I felt like a noob. Like they're just really awkward because you can have like kind of like no momentum. So yeah, but I feel like the more I practice them, the better I get. So So we always do this pirouette combination, which I feel like is always nerve wracking and it's always a challenge because I'm dancing uh, in my basement on my cement on this floor 
that i know everybody asked me where this floor is from but it's not actually a dance floor we just randomly had this floor and that's what i used like i never really purchased anything so i could dance on it but yeah it's, it's really really slippery but i feel like over the months i've learned to turn on it so now when i go back to a studio it's gonna be so weird to turn on a regular floor <laughs> So these are just Italian fuetes and they are not fun to do on this floor either but I, do, I really like Italian fuetes so it's fun. <laughs> So then we always do fuetes in class two, which is really hard. Um, like when I when we first started online classes, like at home, I couldn't do 32. It was like so hard, but somehow I've managed to do 32 now on this floor. I don't know how, but in the studios, like I usually always can do 32. So it's always kind of weird. Like I guess it's the floor. I don't really know. <laughs> So then we did like double fuetes, if you know what I mean, like a double and fuete into a double. Um, and I kind of failed at the end, so you'll see. But yeah, it was hard just for the same purposes. <laughs> just the floor, like the concrete, I don't know. vlogging until i was, saw my camera and i was like oh right um okay so it is 408 we're going somewhere now i know this is a social dis dancing vlog but um my state has lifted the stay-at-home order like a couple weeks ago and a lot of shops are opening up and we can be in groups less than 10 so Please, nobody come for me. Like, obviously, if your state ha still has, like, restrictions and you feel like it's unsafe to go see one of your friends or go see someone or you feel like you've gotten infected or gotten in contact with someone or your friend has, please stay at home. Um, but I don't have any of those assumptions, so I'm going to see my boyfriend, yes. Anyways, we I ordered Chipotle. I don't even know where it is, to be honest. I, I door-dashed it. And then... We're gonna eat it, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to his house. So. Also, I'm almost done this Leo. I don't want I don't want you guys to see it. But you guys have seen this fabric on like on my Instagram. But I'm so excited, you don't understand. Also, look at the hamsters on my socks. Bye!